And hi everyone, uh, this is Hao Yang Li uh, from China, and I am the China Community Manager from Open Infrastructure Foundation. Um, um, I'm mostly working here uh, closely with our local community uh, to support our members as well as the local community to grow our ecosystem and to uh, participate in uh, um, the project globally. And he, today I would like to share with everyone about how um, how is Open Infra going in China? And I hope today you can learn uh, some information uh, from today's session. So first of all, um, as you all may know, we just have OpenStack Xena release, and this is also a very major release. Uh, congratulations to everyone. And uh, from China, there are 62 contributors that is developed OpenStack Xena and contributed to this, um, this release cycle. And besides, generally, China is now the second most active country of the OpenStack community here. Um, so we do have see a lot of uh, developers that still working on OpenStack as well as more and more users coming up um, here um, that is running OpenStack in production. And thanks to all of the, our members here that who deployed OpenStack contributors and also support the project um, moving forward. The general OpenStack growth in China. So um, overall now, 70% of OpenStack deployment in China are now in production. And this is a very big number. And besides that, 65% of organizations are now running hybrid cloud, but the majority running over half of their overall cloud infrastructure on OpenStack. So this is also um, very exciting. Um, from worldwide, nowadays we have like overall um, 25 million cores of OpenStack that is running on production. And besides, among all these million cores, China Mobile here is one of the largest users and China Mobile is now running 6 million cores in production. Congratulations to China Mobile. And from the survey that we collected from this year, we can see here in China, the top industries for OpenStack is now the academic and research areas, the energy uh, industry, finance area, uh, the IT industry, as well as the telecom industry, which is a very important um, area that OpenStack is, is running and being used. So the OpenStack community in China is very diverse and um, um, and big. So we have most of the activities are now running on open uh, on, on WeChat group. We do have the WeChat, multiple WeChat groups that is covering various uh, topics like the project itself, uh, OpenStack components discussion, and we do have the WeChat group that is covered SIG, um, for example, like multi arc SIG. And we also have the WeChat group that from multiple meetups that we have been organized as well as the summit. So from the activity side, um, we have the regional Open Infra Day China, which is a big annual event here in China that is covering all of the Open Infra projects. And we also have the small meetups quarterly um, that is organized by either members or multiple members. And we define the theme for each quarter for the topics. And then we starting collecting those topics from the local uh, community so that they can share knowledge and exchange their experience through the meetup. And also we do uh, participate in the hackathons that is organized by other um, organizations and people can sit in together, um, especially like OpenStack and Kata, and they can fix in bugs and also talking about new features and the roadmap. And besides that, we also have the OpenStack WeChat public account, which is a, a subscribable account, and we share news updates as well as top technical articles to all the subscribers. Nowadays, we have around um, almost 8,000 subscribers uh, for our OpenStack WeChat account. And for each article that we posted, we have around from 100 to 2,000 plus reviews for each article. So besides OpenStack, Kata is definitely still also very active in China. We, besides, we do have the, um, the important developers, core contributors, as well as important users 
here um, in China that is around Kata. So as the same with OpenStack, we also have the WeChat group for Kata, and we also have the Kata user group on WeChat as well that is specifically collect, um, gathering the users here in China and we share, they share the knowledge and experience on how to deploy Kata and use Kata. So overall, um, from, 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 from China, um, the Alibaba, Ant Group, Huawei, um, Inspa, China Mobile, um, ByteDance and Baidu, as well as several finance service organizations that now participated in Kata community, either as core developers or as the, as the users. Several, especially several of the companies or the major internet companies, as well as the finance service organizations that have been working on the POC, as well as um, the, the user cases that uh, um, they deployed Kata in their, um, in their services and environment. And we do also have the Kata meetups that is happen, happening here in China. And also we do have the WeChat a, a public account as well for Kata. And for, for nowadays, we have more than 1000 subscribers for Kata. Uh, public account, and um, they followed us to learn about the latest uh, technical updates as well as the user cases. <laughs> so besides participating and um, engaging with the community, uh, nowadays more and more companies and contributors started to open source their project and contribute their project back to our community. For example, like the Taibai project, which is a multi-cloud management project. And it has been um, contributed back to Open Infra Lab. Congratulations to Fibro Home who open sourced the Taibai project. So we just finished the Open Infra Days China in October 15 and 16th, which is a hybrid cloud this year. And overall we have um, collected when uh, 100k attendees to this event, either uh, uh, both in person and virtually. And this is a very exciting event this year. And we do have a lot of outcome and, um, and uh, knowledge exchanging and follow ups that from this event. And besides that, um, as China has grown very fast in open source area and more and more companies starting to participate in open source industry. So we do have the cross uh, collaborations around open source in China with multiple organizations, including like just I mentioned, we have OpenStack and Kata participated in the open source hackathon that is organized by SESI. And we also have other collaboration with the major um, big or fast growing projects, including like OpenOla and, or, and Edge Gallery. And we also have the forums um, attended that we can share our vision and technologies updates to um, the local academy and government. And these are these all are very overview of the open infrastructure community here in China. And I hope everyone um, can um, have a good learning. Um, thanks everyone.